What do you anticipate gaining from a space telescope with a price tag of an incredible $10 billion which caused the entirety of the globe to collectively hold their breath throughout the launch and deployment of the instrument? The James Webb Space Telescope is beginning to feel at home in its new location while simultaneously transmitting images of the cosmos back to Earth. The most recent photos are breathtaking and have the whole space industry in disbelief. What's up everyone? Welcome back. Join me as we uncover the wonders of the universe through the lenses of the new The James Webb Space Telescope. As always, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and let's dive in. How did the JWST come to be? The James Webb Space Telescope is one of the few space telescopes that has successfully captivated the interest of the whole globe. Fewer telescopes experience the same level of delay as the JWST and no other telescope is as expensive. The JWST is the result of a cooperative effort from NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. The JWST will replace the Hubble Space Telescope which produced breathtaking photographs and played an essential role in advancing scientific understanding of our universe. But the JWST was established because astronomers and scientists require more advanced equipment to assist us in gaining a greater understanding of the cosmos. The launch of the JWST took place on Christmas Day of the last year following years of preparation, research, and development work that spanned multiple decades and nearly resulted in the program's cancellation by the government. Because the telescope had to be folded to fit in the launch vehicle, this launch was not like any other launch because it has 2.7 times bigger in diameter and around 6 times greater in surface area. Its primary mirror needed to be divided up into 18 pieces. There were no do-overs for the development team because the JWST was destined for a location that was so remote that there was no possibility of sending astronauts to either repair it or refuel it. Despite this, everything worked out well and the JWST arrived at its destination approximately a month later. Because of how well the launch went, the JWST could save enough fuel to roughly double the amount of time it was planned to last. The latest image The most recent picture taken by the James Webb Space Telescope reveals an incredible panorama of the Large Magellanic Cloud, which is a satellite galaxy of our own Milky Way galaxy. The mid-infrared instrument, often known as MIRI, which is a part of the James Webb Space Telescope, was used to take the picture. The scientists working on the Webb Telescope will have the chance to evaluate the instrument's imaging capabilities if they concentrate their attention on the star field contained within the Large Magellanic Cloud. The capabilities of the Spitzer Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope are compared head-to-head -head in a set of photos that NASA has made public and placed side-by-side. High-resolution photographs of the universe were obtained in the near and mid-infrared spectrum by the Spitzer Observatory, which has since been decommissioned. In a statement released by NASA, the organization explained that Webb, with its substantially larger main mirror and upgraded detectors, will let us observe the infrared sky with enhanced clarity, allowing even more discoveries. A further step has been taken toward initiating science operations for the James Webb Space Telescope in the summer of 2022. The 2M mass J1755402 plus 6551277 the image of the star 2 mass J1755042 plus 6551277, which was released on March 16, 2022, was produced as a result of NASA's successful completion of the primary mirror focus on the James Webb Space Telescope on March 11, 2020. The focus was achieved with a precision that exceeded the initial goal and as a result, the image was produced. The photograph was noteworthy because it demonstrated that each of the 18 primary mirror segments of the JWST had been oriented correctly. These segments are responsible for producing the famous honeycomb mirror configuration of the Space Observatory. The JWST has since moved forward with its preparations to begin its investigation of the universe by taking one more step. The achievement of this milestone signified the completion of a process that was referred to as fine-facing. 
The primary mirror of the James Webb Space Telescope is composed of 18 hexagonal segments. In order to focus these segments, the team focused the telescope on a solitary star that had a low number of nearest partners. They then made the necessary adjustments to each panel so that when combined, the 18 individual images would be aligned into a single point of light that was focused on within an accuracy of 50 nanometers. This is a fraction of the wavelengths of infrared light that the instrument is capable of observing. After that, the group took several pictures of the star using the near-infrared camera. Even though this was only supposed to pick up the star that was being focused on, the telescope was able to record a variety of background galaxies. The 18-star mosaic In February 2022, the JWST team shared a picture of their website that depicted 18 diverse stars dispersed across a pitch black background. In fact, the photograph displayed a single brilliant star in the constellation Ursa Major that is designated by the designation HD84406. Because the JWST's mirror segments were still being oriented, the star was observed in a total of 18 distinct locations throughout the field of view. This seemingly chaotic grab resulted from JWST's unaligned mirror segments bouncing light back into the telescope detectors. This capture was an essential element in preparing Webb for the task of providing stunning photographs of the universe. According to Ritva Keskikua, the Deputy Optical Telescope Element Manager for the James Webb Space Telescope, we have aligned and focused the telescope on a star and the performance is beating requirements. What could we anticipate for the JWST in the coming months or years? The first image captured by one of the JWST's cameras with proper focus is enticing, giving astronomers a taste of what's to come from the spacecraft's mission. Compared to the earlier infrared image of the region obtained from the Spitzer Space Telescope and the WISE Telescope, which displayed a collection of blobs, the image obtained from the Webb Telescope reveals sharply focused galaxies that show structure in even the most distant background sources. Because of the extraordinary resolution of the JWST, scientists can put together the histories of these formerly unknown galaxies. Even though this is the only image we have access to, we are aware that the camera most likely captured the scene using various filters. By seeing the brightness of a galaxy in each of them, we would be able to make an educated approximation of its distance and consequently how far back in time we are witnessing in the history of the universe we are seeing. Where exactly is the James Webb Space Telescope at this time and when will it start conducting scientific operations? The enormous space telescope was successfully maneuvered into a slow looping orbit around the second Lagrange point, which is a stable gravitational point approximately 1.5 million kilometers behind Earth as seen from the Sun. This was accomplished through a total of three mid-course correction maneuvers. The telescope and its delicate sensors had to be cooled down to 230 degrees Celsius below zero after being launched from the platform in French Guiana while the temperature was in the tropics. JWST had already reached 200 degrees Celsius by the beginning of January 2022 because of its enormous sun shield that consists of many layers, although the rate of passive cooling slows down with time. The optics of the telescope should never be the coldest components of the instrument because otherwise, the molecules that are expelled as gases from the graphite composite support structure might freeze on the mirrors which would have a negative impact on the instrument's performance. After the near-cam equipment had cooled down to the point where its sensitive mercury-cadmium telluride detectors could detect infrared, the process of aligning the 18 mirror segments of the telescope could finally begin. Was the James Webb Space Telescope's awe-inspiring first image really that impressive? It is not predicted that JWST would take its first proper photographs until around six months after its launch, which would be late next month or early July. So what do you think of the James Webb Space Telescope? Will it soon capture distant galaxies with habitable planets and extraterrestrial life? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this.